I'm here with UNH women's basketball senior guard Jill Friel, who's not far from home, a New Hampshire native and an Oyster River alum. Jill, talk about what it's been like playing here at UNH. I'm sure there's a lot of pride for you playing here. Talk about what it's been like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, this is my 22nd year in this community, and um, it, it's been fantastic. So being able to play in front of my friends and family, um, and most importantly, having them there for that emotional support or being able to go home for a, a home-cooked meal, um, that's been the best part for me is, has been that uh, support system. But I think a lot of people feel that way about UNH regardless of whether they grew up here or not. It's great having the family support, absolutely. Your father coached here. You know, there's a lot of pride in you coming here. Um, do you ever get back to Oyster River to play with some of the friends or mentor any of your younger friends? Yeah, um, especially when I was, um, you know, closer removed from Oyster River, I went back a lot more to see more of my friends now. You know, being a senior, a lot of uh, the people that I played with have gone. But I've gone back. I've done, I've done clinics. I still work camp there sometimes in the summer. I've started refereeing a lot, so I've refereed a lot of their JV and high school uh, fall ball and summer league games. So I'm definitely still in touch with the program, and I have a great relationship with my high school coach, Dave Nichols. Um, so so we talk every couple, couple of weeks, and... and Oyster River kind of is where it started all for my family, um, being one of five siblings that went through there and had, had pretty good careers. Um, it's some place that's, you know, just as close to my heart as UNH, so I try and keep in touch as much as possible. That's awesome. That's awesome that you can give back to the community, too. Talk about this season so far. How has this season been for you? Well, for me personally, you know, it, it's been fun to be a senior and, and kind of assume one of those leadership roles. Um, we only have one captain, and she actually happens to be a junior. Um, so it's kind of nice because the senior class has kind of been able to divide and conquer. You know, um, you lead well this way, so Carrie's going to go out and hit that three. That's a way that she's going to be lead, be able to lead, and and you know somebody else will be able to step up differently. So I've really enjoyed that aspect of kind of having been there, knowing knowing what I'm doing, feeling comfortable in where I am, and, and trying to help um, younger kids uh, in that in that way, too. And I'm sure you'll miss the senior class once you leave. What's it been like playing with them in your time here? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's been kind of a whirlwind, you know, with um, different kids being in my class, kids transferring, um, and, and like Carrie had said previously, um, we're the ones that kind of came in together. We've been roommates since freshman year, and for a lot of the time, we played the same position. So it's been a lot of fun competing and going through the same things and being able to support each other and challenge each other. And, and I think that's true of everyone that I've been able to play with, um, Lauren, Morgan, even Kelsey, who I kind of consider part of my class as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a big group, and, and I think we've gone through a lot of those challenges, whether it's coaching staff changes or, you know, hey, you're in a shooting slump, how can we help? Um, having those people, excuse me, people to support you ha has been fantastic. So. Speaking of the coaching staff, talk about what it's been like playing for Coach McGarity and the rest of the staff. Um, I mean, I can't say enough about Coach McGarity and her staffs and, and her, their patience with us. Um, coming into the situation, um, for them, having, having kind of to assume a team that had been kind of down and out for a while, um, we were looking for some hope and some new uh, energy, and they were able to bring that. So... Um, them being patient with us to learn how how you win and how you act with your teammates and, and kind of instituting that winning mentality um, has, has been difficult for them, but they've done it with grace. And um, I think that it, it's shown in our improvement on the court. Um, but most importantly, I think that they're they're good people and they're trying to develop us as, as women as well as athletes. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you this weekend and the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Back to you guys.